last summer I spent a large chunk of time researching and driving to find covered bridges. Uh, it was my photo quest last year, it's, uh, it was just a lot of fun. I was traveling all over the country, so I took the opportunity to find bridges where I was traveling at. Well this year I am doing the waterfall tour, so I haven't focused as much on covered bridges. However, today we are headed up to a covered bridge in Virginia. There's only three or four and two are private. So this one is going to be one of the public bridges. It is still in use and I am very excited about this. The objective today is to show you how to photograph a covered bridge, what to look for, where to set up at. Uh, this one's going to pose some challenges that most covered bridges do not and that it is still a used covered bridge so there will be some traffic and we are hoping to arrive at sunset. The bridge is about three and a half hours away, so it's going to be a bit of a trek, and we're going to stop for some photography along the way. It is very early, and I am very tired and very much ready for my coffee. So this is a very special thing for me. I have a passion for covered bridges. But first, this is how we got here. In This is uh, one of the few covered bridges in Virginia, and it is, uh, I'll put the name here. Actually, I think it's Memes, Bridge, Memes Bottom, but I'll, just in case, I'll put the name at the bottom of the screen here. Uh, we are in Western Virginia, just outside of Luray, Virginia, actually, uh, and it's about uh, two and a half hours, three hours outside of Richmond, Virginia. Uh, and this is, this is the bridge. I have spent the last year and a half uh, driving all over the country, photographing covered bridges. This is the first one. I've had this for the video, the vlog. Uh, so I'm very excited about this. What I'm going to do is uh, set up at different points in time. I have, it is 7.38, sunset is 8.33, so I have approximately an hour to grab as many shots as possible before sunset. Right now we are facing, the sun is kind of to my front here, and it, you can see it lighting the front of the bridge up. I am going to grab this shot here. I'm going to grab some of the inside of the bridge. I won't be able to film that because it's so dark in there, I don't think. We'll give it a shot. Uh, but my objective is to capture multiple angles of the bridge, including interior angles. I'm using my 15 uh, to 30 Tamron lens on my Nikon D750. I will be at f16 almost the entire time. Uh, I'm looking for crisp, sharp images. Uh, at the 15 millimeter side, you will get some bowing on the ends, and I will fix that in post. Uh, so anyway, here we go. So I'm set up here to photograph the inside of the bridge. Uh, we have just enough light to do this. I'm actually bumped down to F14 uh, just because it's so dark in here. I'm at a 30 second exposure to capture this image, and I will have to take two images because the end of the bridge where the opening is down there is so bright, so we will have to composite these images. So I am set up, I am in the center of the bridge. Uh, I've got my tripod firmly planted, and uh, there's these two uh, beautiful arches in the side of the bridge here that we'll show you in the photograph. Uh, but the objective is to capture two pictures, one that is properly exposed for the inside of the bridge, one that is properly exposed for the light outside the bridge, and we will blend those in post and create a single image from this. Then we will take another image where we take the tripod low to the ground and capture a perspective shot that will emphasize the arches. So for the next shot, we're set up with the camera down low to the ground. Uh, we're doing uh, three exposures, uh, not two exposures like I thought we would. We're doing one at a full 30 second exposure to capture the inside of the bridge as bright as possible, as clean as possible. We're doing a second with a two second exposure to grab the light coming into the bridge at the end, and a third that is two tenths of a second to capture the light at the end of the tunnel, and we will blend all those together in a single image. This specific image, we will do the same timing of the pictures. 
However, we will be set up at a lower perspective to emphasize the arches. So it's been an interesting shoot so far. I've had to dodge several cars. This bridge is significantly busier than I was expecting it to be. So there's been a little frogger. Uh, you've probably already seen one of the drivers come through. Uh, so I am set up for the last shot of the night. I did not get a full shoot out here. Typically I spend two and a half to three hours to get a full bucket of images for a covered bridge. Tonight I had about an hour. Uh, so it's a little bit more limited, not as many detail shots. I will be back and I will do a follow-up video showing the full detail. Also, stay tuned because soon I am heading up north to New Hampshire and Canada to shoot some covered bridges and I will have time to film a much more detailed episode. But for now, enjoy the images. So, the biggest thing I don't think anyone tells any photographer, new, beginning, old, whatnot, I don't care what level of photography you are, there is no such thing as a perfect image, generally speaking. Everyone has their image they love. But, the catch to this is, it doesn't come with one click, it doesn't come with two clicks. Sometimes you plan, you research, and the image just isn't there, the light just doesn't work. Tonight was one of those examples. I have some beautiful images I love of the inside of the bridge and before the sun went down. However, just as the, just as the sun started setting, the clouds moved out of the field of out of the field of view of the bridge, and it's just a boring, boring picture without it. There's no catch of light in the sky, and it's just a very plain, normal night. This happens. In order to get the right sunset image or one you're going to love. Sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll walk out and you'll set up that shot and bam, there it is, perfect clouds. Most of the time, you're going to have to go back to that location over and over. And this is a location I will come back to over and over. 